Hello everyone, quick little video. Um, I see on the internet constantly people have trouble with this lens. This is the AF 28-70. to The big problem is getting the diaphragm back in. Everybody can pull it out, nobody can get the diaphragm back in. So let's go ahead and take this apart. I'll show you how to get these things in. Um, I've been doing these for many, many years. Um, and even for me, every once in a while, they just can be a struggle. So we'll just go ahead and take this rear ring off, the mount ring. That's this one here. So it's three flathead screws. This is a junk lens. So I'm not too worried about this lens. Okay, so that guy comes off. Okay, this was loose because I took out the one screw. It should have had two, but it only had one on this lens. So we're gonna go ahead and take these out. These are not tight because they it's been apart. Someone tried to have a go at fixing it, but this thing is just too far gone for repair. So this is kind of like my junker lens. Okay, so as I'm taking apart this, if you look real carefully, that's a um, threaded screw, and they're different from the other screws. The other screws look like that, nice long ones, difference. If you take this one out and you take the mount off, then you're just adding to your workload. So put this one back in, keep it in. I always forget if it's this one or this one. So that one, keep in. You don't need to take it out. This long one here you do. So all the long screws need to come out. So that guy, that guy, should be four of them. So you don't take out every screw on an icon mount. Go ahead and pull that up. All right. So there's your coupler that drives your ASA. So your, lens, your, your camera will kick it here and that will drive your ASA um, diaphragm, your aperture, is what I'm trying to say. All right, so the big problem with this guy is the diaphragm coupling, you know, let's see if I can even get a light in there, is way down inside the lens here, way down there. This is what your diaphragm looks like. This is from another lens, a junker. So what you have is you have these two points right here. So when you drop, this lever down in, it needs to hit here, push that open, and then drop in. So that's how it should look when you're done and it's working correctly. I hope you can see that. Okay. Unfortunately, many people miss it. They drop it here. They drop it here. Or the worst is they drop it here and keep pushing down until this system bends or this bends. So this is just like a little a little lip you can set that on, open it up, and then it drops back in. It's kind of a funky little system. Um, there's a few Nikon lenses that use it, and then that drives the diaphragm open and closed. If you miss it, nothing's going to happen. You might get some, some movement, but it's not right. You see it doesn't stop down all the way. And if you hit it way over here, you'll open it once again. You don't get a proper diaphragm operation. So it needs to go down the middle, boom, all the way closed, all the way open. So that's the best way I can explain how these things work. So really what you're doing is if you have fingers, what you're doing is you're opening and it just has to drop in. So um, to get this thing back together, just put the uh, spacer on, back focus. Don't forget your back fo focus washers. They all need to go on unless you have a way of adjusting it then unfortunately you just have to look down this lens and even I have a tough time seeing it. And I'm hoping, I'm actually doing it by feel right now because I really can't see it. Right. Nope, I can't see it, I need more light. Sorry about that. Where am I looking at? There we are, I can see it now. And it can be a real pain. So I understand people having trouble with this lens. And I've been doing this for years. And there I got it. So that's that's probably 30 years of experience right there. So if you all have problems doing this, I understand. Um, hopefully this makes it a little bit easier on you. Okay, black screw into the front. Uh, this becomes a um, alignment, um, I, I guess you would call it a key. Um, so you key in on that screw, put it on. It's like the white dot, so white dot, black black screw. 
And the rest of the ones are just long ones. They don't matter, they're just the chrome ones. And then we get it back together. And I just wanted to do this real quick. Hope it's not too long. Looks like we're running around five minutes on it. And then you just put the rest of it back together. Um, now, when you're looking for screws, please, and I see this, I don't know why, but that's a conical head screw. Uh, we'll see. I don't know if you can see it. That's a conical head screw. That's going to go here. You don't want screws sticking out in here. So, people put the wrong screws in here. Messes up the holes. Messes up the the uh, the uh, backing plate. There's the backing plate right there. You drill the wrong screw in. And the screws stick out. And then you can't mount your lens on. I don't know how many times I see that. I've seen that quite a bit. And I can't figure out why it doesn't mount. Well, you put the screws in wrong. You shouldn't have been playing with it. All right. And then the mount ring goes in. It's only one way it really goes in. And then these ones have heads on them. So that the heads on these screws go into the recessed. So when it all goes on, they're all going to be flush. Nothing's going to be sticking out. It's only one screw that needs to stick out, and that's that one right there. I don't know if you can tell it on it, but it's sticking out. That's your stop screw. That stop screw is missing. You're going to damage your camera every time. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to end here. Um, do, this is just a quick little video. Um, well, good luck with it. If you have any questions, just ask. Take care. Bye.